when your life feels like Joseph. It is so easy in this day and age for the judging actions and words of people to comment on or bring back to surface that which you have faced in the past. Joseph was accused falsely of trying to rape the queen and this story would have been spread around the palace and community. All the evidence pointed to Joseph being guilty and we fail to realize that Joseph would have had to face the accusing eyes and thoughts of those who thought him guilty of such a deed. It is even more sad when you realize that you are standing alone for the path of righteousness as did Joseph when he leaned on the hope that God's will was revealed to him in a dream yet his own, his family, stood against that and despised such godly progression in his life. How then are we so surprised that our very own believers are not able to stand with you in the face of adversity but like Joseph's brothers are ready to conform to the world and allow you to end up in a pit in prison alone? Do not be surprised during these perilous time of lovers of themselves that even Jesus' own, his Jewish people, were ready to crucify him upon false accusations against him, and we stand back surprised that our very own are ready to entertain false accusations against you and crucify you to the cross. It was Joseph's very own who refused to accept the Father's favor upon his life and was ready to excommunicate him from their group. Likewise with Jesus, the Father spoke publicly of his favor on his son yet this too was cast aside and the crowd influenced the choice to crucify Jesus. This is what Jesus taught when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and told those around take of his bandages. What do we do when the world still has our dear brother tied to the past and accusing gossip of the things of the tomb? He whom the Son sets free is free indeed. So what do we do? Joseph trusted in God even while he was in prison. The butler did not remember him but God allowed circumstances during Joseph's imprisonment to bring him to a place of honor. The world may not understand what God is doing in your life but continue trusting him and know that all things work for good to them that love the Lord. When Jesus and Barabbas stood together, the majority chose the bad boy, the one that would not show the accusers their ungodly lifestyle. The majority did not understand God's plan for Jesus but in the end Jesus walked out victorious from the empty tomb. Joseph was sold as a slave alone and Jesus hung on that cross alone for the world. This alone can teach us that the way of the world is wide while the narrow way is just enough for Jesus to walk with you alone and lead you. Do not be envious of the plans, deception and accusations of the world lost to itself but fear what God can do to your soul. Be strong dear beloved because he is the God of the mountain and the valley. Fall in love with Jesus. It's the best thing you could ever do.